Mr. Bell was the proprietor of Bell's Music Shop in Bristol. Obviously, he sold music, but along with that, he sold other items that might be attractive for young people to buy, including, in this case, a knife. Specifically, the knife was a flick knife, so the blade was within the handle until a trigger button was pressed, when the blade would spring into place. The knives, it would seem, had been brought to the shop by a manufacturer for Mr. Bell to sell. Mr. Bell was relying on the manufacturers to stay within the law, and so he had no real idea that there was in fact a law against offering flick knives for sale. He soon found out when a police constable saw them in the window of the shop and came in and charged him. The question arose, however, whether he had actually offered the knives for sale. Putting something in a shop window with a price tag on it would seem to most people to be offering that thing for sale. But at law, we call this an invitation to treat. In other words, the shopkeeper is saying, I have an item which I am willing to sell. Come in and make me an offer. That's why a customer can walk in, pick an item up, carry it around, but then put it back and leave. There's no contract at that point because there's been no offer and no acceptance. The contract occurs when the customer picks up the item, takes it to the checkout, and the checkout operator accepts the sale. The contract is then executed by the checkout operator handing over the item and the customer handing over the money. Lord Parker, the Chief Justice, said, It is perfectly clear that according to the ordinary law of contract, the display of an article with a price on it in a shop window is merely an invitation to treat. It is in no sense an offer for sale, the acceptance of which constitutes a contract. That is clearly the general law of the country. As a result, of course, the prosecution of Mr. Bell failed because he had not offered the knives for sale. He had merely invited others to make him an offer. A very fine point of law, but enough to get Mr. Bell off the hook. Mm -hmm.